I'm watching Coach Shelton Harris's show. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You. <laughs> you said that good. Coach Shelton Harris said there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and you're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harris and Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks. I hate to tell y'all that I told y'all so. I tried to tell y'all. I, I tried to tell y'all, I tried to tell y'all that when I go into Coach Tadama's mode, that these things keep happening. And what I do, I just sit back and I make these videos until the truth comes right on out. Okay, so Holly Holmes' manager, Lenny Fresquez, and y'all know him. I, you know what? Let me put this out here, man. I, now, let, let me go ahead. Let, let's, let's just go ahead. Let me read off what this guy says, okay? Okay, see, I, I've been telling y'all that team home they won't want no parts of cyborg now i don't think holly holmes afraid i actually think holly Holmes would take the fight i think holly herself would fight cyborg i think she would because then i got to thinking about it one day i'm like you know holly Holmes done been brutally ko she's been beaten before man i'm talking about brutally ko by sophie mattis i'm talking about like it was brutal man and the referee man i, I hated the referee in that fight man i mean he, he should have you know he should have damn well stopped the girl, man. Stopped that girl from, like, really completely. Because Holly Holm could have been, like, seriously injured in that fight. Like, literally. So, I don't think Holly herself is scared. I actually think Holly Holm probably would fight Chris Cyborg. But she know now that it ain't going to be no catch weights. It ain't going to be no stipulations. No, Holly. You ain't getting that. You ain't getting no fight with Chris Cyborg at 136 pounds. You're not going to get it at 138 pounds. That, that's not going to happen. Oh, oh, you got to fight at the whole 145-pound limit because she the champion. <laughs> she called the shots. But I think Holly would. But her team, uh-uh. Winkle John was not happy about it when the fight got first announced in the past. He was like, uh-uh. Cyborg, they need, to, they need to be at least, you know, be suspended for a year. But... You know what debunks that? And, and I love me some John Jones. I love John Jones, but John Jones popped. I mean, how's Mike Winkle John gonna explain that one? I mean, seriously, y'all, how was Winkle John gonna explain? So that's that's pretty much a no. Like, that, there's nothing he can say now. Okay, Winkle John got to shut the hell up. Okay. I don't think Holly's afraid. I really, in my heart, don't think that Holly Holm is afraid to take this fight. And definitely not out to seeing Tanya Evinger in there. I, I know she ain't afraid now. Do I think she win? Nah. I think she get I think she get brutally knocked out. Probably inside, maybe at the end of the first round, but within two rounds, I think Chris Cyborg can finish her. That's my opinion, okay? Y'all can get mad and all this other stuff. I don't watch enough footage on Cyborg and home. I know their tendencies. I know what home will fall for. I know what Cyborg will fall for. And at this stage of Cyborg career, she's not going to get brutally KO. I'm just saying. Because if, if you know, Jarena Bars hits Cyborg with every head kick, and Jarena is the best 145-pound Muay Thai fighter in the world. She's the best. She couldn't KO Cyborg. I mean, literally with those head kicks that would put people away. Now, Jarena, her punching power not there, but those head kicks, yeah. Mm -mm. Holly Holm ain't going to do it. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just not going to happen. I just feel that way. I feel like Chris Cyborg would get in there. She would cut off the octagon and she would maul the hell out of it. I just, that's what I think. And I think she would do it. But now, hell, this version of Cyborg know how to counter punch? Well, she already knew that because I did that in a film study. She can counter punch, man. Chris Cyborg know how to rotate and hit you at angles, man. Like, it was, it was brilliant, like, watching her see the parts of her game that's elevated. And I'm going to tell y'all, that training with Clarissa Shields paid off. I'm telling y'all. And how much you want to bet? I bet you Cyborg going to be paying for, uh, paying for more fight, uh, flights for Clarissa Shields to get down in that train. I guarantee you. But let's finish looking at Lenny. Lenny says something will pop soon. Okay. This does not necessarily mean he said that Holmes' next fight will be against the new UFC featherweight Christine Cyborg. Boy. <laughs> I'm just shaking my head at y'all now. <laughs> I, I tried to tell y'all this. You got to learn how to read in between the lines. This dude, uh-uh. What he really saying is, uh, I'm not going to let my charge, my top charge get in there. Do you think I'm going to get in there and, and let one of my biggest money makers get in there and lose? 
six to eight months away from the octagon? Are you serious? Uh, that's a hell no. Uh, Lenny Fresquez ain't stupid. He not, y'all. He's not going to approve this. I guarantee you. I don't care how much Dana White threatened. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they say they ain't booking Holly home for no more fights. I guarantee you. Lenny Fresquez, Mike Winklejohn, they not having it. They not going for it. And Winklejohn, you know, I've even criticized it. You know, like, God, dog. I mean, damn, you're a fighter. And your team around you, they kind of know. Like, they don't want you to fight. Like, I, I don't know. Me, you know, I think in Winklejohn's defense, I think he really does care about Holly Holm. Like, he really does genuinely care about her as a person. And Winklejohn don't want to see Holly Holm get hurt like that. Like, he really don't. So, on that, I can kind of see where he's coming from. But then, I got I to gotta, I gotta pull y'all back in. This is the fight game. This is the hurt game. And, you know, unfortunately, a fighter's career, sometimes they don't retire with a happy story, y'all. And that's the depravity of this situation, of this thing called the fight game. I know we get on here and we criticize fighters. I know we do. But, God, you know what? These people, they're putting themselves out there. We didn't ask them to. This is what they signed up for. But the reality of the situation is, like, Holly Holm could go in here and actually literally get retired. Like, I'm serious. And I'm not saying that to be mean. This is not a disrespect to Holly Holm. But right now, at age 32, Chris Cyborg is very dangerous. And I'm talking about dangerous because now... Not only can she cut the octagon off, close the distance, and beat you down. Now, Chris Cyborg know how to counterpunch and get in on the inside without taking damage. Like, this version of Chris Cyborg that's not going to take the, take the most damage, this is a scary version of Chris Cyborg. And I don't think, I don't, I don't know, man. People and, and a lot of people say that she carried Tanya Evanger. I don't know. I don't know. But I tell you what, <laughs> she took her time. She took her time doing what she did. Okay, and I'm just telling y'all this. All right, so Fresquez said he hasn't talked with White about a home Cyborg title fight, though he has talked with others at the UFC. But he said Cyborg and 145 pounds are not the only option. Basically, uh, hell no. We're going to fight somebody in, in the Bantamweight division. Now watch. I'm going to be right again. I'm going to be right again. When this fight don't go down, when it don't go down, I'm, I'm going to come back on here and, I, and I'm going to make me a video. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to say, I told y'all. I tried to tell y'all this. I am. I'm going to say it. But now look at the statement at the end. This right here is telling. This is the nail in the coffin for you people that think that Holly's team is going to approve this fight. This is the nail in the coffin for y'all. Okay, Lenny Fresquez at the end says, Holly, Holly's the biggest name in women's MMA. <laughs> Fresquez said, just go look at how many followers she has on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh, crap. Oh, Lord. Y'all remember back in February when I told y'all that this is not about uh, skill? Remember when I told y'all this ain't about skill? It's a popularity contest. It's a, it's a butt cheek contest. It's a cleavage contest. Remember I told y'all that? Boy, 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 I tell you the truth. I, you know, I laugh and I sat back on this channel and I just started laughing because hit, hit, Coach, Coach Tradamas, you're right again. I done called all this stuff out. I done broke this down to y'all in video after video, dang it. Lenny Fresquez done told us the truth. Basically, he's saying we don't need Chris Cyborg. We can go fight anybody because Holly Holmes is a big name. We don't need to fight Cyborg. That's, that's what he just said right here, y'all. Folks, listen. I can't dumb this down anymore. I cannot dumb this down any more for any one of y'all. Do I think Holly Holm would fight Chris Cyborg? Yes, she would. If it, if the decision was up to Holly, Holly would just say, okay. She probably would, y'all. Like, Holly Holm honestly wants to fight. She really don't care. But I think it's her team that's making these decisions. And I said a long time ago, man, I, I, I think Holly need a couple of new faces in her team, man. A couple of new faces, something. But then, too, also... I can't solely say Winkle John and I, nah, because Holly Holm, to me, in my opinion, I don't think she listens as well as she should. That's just me. Because Greg Jackson is good. Okay, he's good. Greg Jackson is good. He's very, very good. And, you know, it's like she throw that information out and she revert back to what she thinks works, which she'll try to stand and, 
you know, she'll try to throw like range finders and try to throw some kicks here and there to try to set you up for the head kick. And everybody actually know what she's going to do. They know. Her opponents that get in there, most of them know. And I thought Betch Cohell was doing a good job until she got stupid. <laughs> and Betch got knocked out. But I'm just saying. I just think that, you know, Holly needs a couple of new faces in there. Maybe a couple other people that, you know, that could get through like, look, you need to do this and let's try some of this. But, you know, I don't know, not listening to Greg Jackson, that's not smart. I'm, it's just not. Not listening to Greg Jackson. And honestly, I think Holly Holm is a good athlete. I think she's a, a very good fighter. I just think that she'll kind of throw her corner's advice out the corner. Even sometimes when she in the corner, I just feel like she tuning them out, man. She tuning them out and she just nodding her head and then she go do what she want to do. Because most of the time, I don't see her making these adjustments. But I tell you what, I can say I think Holly Holm will take the fight. Just looking at what I see now, I don't think Holly Holm physically, because I've never heard Holly come out and say, well, I don't want the fight. But now, I remember she did say some old crap, but, you know, we, we wanted to fight at 138 pounds, something like that. But I don't know, that's not her talking, man. That's Lenny Fresquez and all the people around. Nah, man. That's what that is. But you guys tell me what you think. Do you think Holly will actually take this fight? Or, sorry, not Holly, but Team Holly. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. And I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.